What is up, senyo mga lodi? Pinibagong video na naman for today. And today, 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 we are gonna be unboxing a new phone. So this is the Lenovo Z5S and as you can see on the title, this is a budget gaming phone. So for today's video, hindi naman to magiging full review dahil nga um, kakahawa ko sa phone. And it's just gonna be an unboxing video plus the gameplay ng Mobile Legend and Call of Duty. Ayan, so huwag natin paragalin. Let's go! And uh, so let's start unboxing this bad boy right here. Alright, so pagkabukas, ayan makikita nyo agad yung phone. So itubuy muna natin yung phone. Iuhuli natin yan. Let's start muna dun sa laman ng box. Alright. So of course, hindi naman makawala yung quick start guide. Ayan, hindi naman natin babasahin yan dahil maubos yung oras natin. Then, second is yung... Hindi ko lang kung ano to. I think I did to. Yeah, mo na. Then third is you, of course. Di mo wala yan. The clear case, the libre ng clear case from Lenovo. Yun lang hindi ko lang kung bakit no. Kung sino pa yung mga or kung ano pa yung mga murong phone, sila pa yung may mga libre ng clear case. Ito lang ng iba like Apple. Wala naman magkita ng clear case yung sa Apple no. So hindi ko alam no. Siguro, they are focusing on the quality of the phone itself and the durability. Ayan. Kita nyo naman, no? So, aside from that, of course, um, uy! Meron tayong free tempered glass pa to. I doubt. Kasi maledyo malambot. Feeling ko clear cake or clear protective screen lang to. Medyo makapal siya pero malambot, so... It's not a tempered glass. Then next is power brick. And focus, Lenovo. Though this is an international version, kaya ganito yung sasakan niya, no? Or pwede ka naman bumili na lang ng adapter para at least magamit mo to. Or you can try a different charger. Right, and next is yung power cable. Or charger cable. Let's check that one. Yeah, no. Sure, USB Type C. Yun, pagalas naman, no. For a seven thousand budget phone, naka Type C na. Grabe naman to. Then let's check. Wow. So dito, metal, metal SIM ejector. Yeah. Kunta. Then, check natin. Ayan, wala na. So, let's go with the phone. Dito na tayo sa phone. Ayan. Ayan. So, let's fill plastic. Ano ba ito? Oh, ilaglag na lang natin. Ayan. Yun! Grabe naman pala ito. Ayan. Ayan siya. Ayan. Medyo makantabing likod, no? Tsaka, medyo fingerprint magnet siya. Though, um, glass design na yung likod niya, no? Kaya, premium looking. Ayan, so ito yung harap. As you can see, no? Ayan. Ayan yung harap pa niya. Yung side. Right. So let us start. Yeah, the Novo. Yeah, so signing in tayo mga lodi, and download mo na natin yung 
Mobile Legends. Install. Ayan. So, hintay lang natin ma-download to. Habang nag-download din yung Call of Duty. Ayan. So, download din natin yan, syempre. So, quick rundown sa mga spe sa spec ng phone habang naghihintay tayo, no? Ayan. So, the phone comes with a 6.30 inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels and an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. Yeah. So this phone is powered by a 2.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 processor and it comes with a 4 GB of RAM. It also runs Android Oreo and is powered by a 3300 mAh battery. In the camera setup, we have 16 GB or 16 megapixel camera on the front for selfies with uh, f 2.0 aperture. Sa likod naman meron tayong triple camera setup na merong 16 megapixel primary camera with f 1.8 aperture. Then the second megapixel or second 8 megapixel camera and a third 5 megapixel camera. So as per the UI, um, this runs a ZUI 10 based on Android Oreo and packs a 64 gig built-in storage okay and the good thing about this phone is it can actually be expanded to up to 256 gigabyte of storage so regarding the sim um, we have the sim on the left side and we have the sim on the left side it can actually fit um, it's either dual SIM or a single SIM with a micro SD. Now for the fingerprint, um, let's try it. Kung gaano kabilis. Ayan. Yun. Very snappy. Ayan. Let's check kung gaano siya kabilis mag-respond. So, hindi siya ganun kabilis, no? Um, yes, it packs uh, a traditional um, fingerprint sensor. Pero hindi siya ganun kabilis tulad ng ibang phones na mag-open or mag-unlock ng phone. Ayan, so install the Mobile Legend. Um, maybe we can try this one. So, let's see kung hanggang anong settings haabot. Uh, Paano meron tayo mong padaya man dyan, mong tune? <laughs> Alright, so let's wait. Yan, so uh, I think sulit na sulit siya dahil um, it can go as high as ultra. And then try natin yung gameplay niya na naka-ultra tayo. Na. So let's try it. Then after this, uh, pwede din natin i-try yung Call of Duty. Para makita naman natin kung, kung ano yung magiging gameplay sa FPS or sa Battle Royale. Isugod lang natin. Ha? Check lang natin kung kakayaan nyo ba. May delay nga ba. Okay siya, no? Hindi siya yung pinakamabilis pero I would say na um, sulit na sulit siya for the price. Dahil kayang-kaya niya sumabay dun sa mga mid-range na phone. Anong uwi yan to, no? Sobrang bilis nyo. Guys, take note. Naka-ultra tayo. Ah. Wala siyang kalaglag. 
nakakasabay siya sa daliri ko kita nyo naman diba kahit ano naman tinitira ko Yun. Yan, no? As you can see, wala tayo naging problema no? um, Sobrang blaze uh, For a budget phone worth 7,350 guys Yan, no? Yes, tama yung narinig nyo 7,350 lang yung pagkakabili ko dito sa Lazada no? So if If you're asking for a recommendation no? I, I think um, This is the most underrated Budget gaming smartphone no? So I suggest um, kung wala kang bud budget pambili ng um, mid-range or or flagship phone, no? Siguro um, I would suggest mag-stick muna kayo dito. And feeling ko sulit naman siya, no? Or you get more than what you paid for. So Yan. So let's try yung COD naman let's see so exit muna natin then call of duty yan okay okay tayo dyan yan so try naman natin itong store purchase so, try naman natin itong COD no Close tayo. Let's go. And... Oh shit. Oops, easy. Hindi ko lang tayo. Hindi tayo. Tayo ba yan? Winner. Alright. Nakita nyo naman, di ba guys? Walang delay. So, feeling ko, pwedeng-pwede na to. Pasok na pasok na sa budget to. For a gaming phone, no? Ayan, no? Ayan naman. MVP yung bano lang. Alright, so let's wrap it up. I think that's it. Um, so, kayang-kaya nyo i-run yung Ultra High at saka yung Ultra ng Mobile Legend at saka COC. So, I think pwedeng-pwede na ito pang gaming. And for its price, I think um, it's worth it. No? Parang sulit na sulit yung magiging um, gastos nyo if you are to buy this phone. Ayan na, so let's try it with music. Ayan, kumaganda. Ayan. Ayan, try naman natin yung camera. Ayan. Ito yung sample camera niya. Um, ito yung sa selfie camera. Ayan, ito naman yung back camera niya, no? Yeah, so that is it for today's vlog. And for the specs of this phone, if a flash can on the screen, para mo kung may namis malang sa bian at least na sa screen nasa. And um, on a scale of one to ten, I would give it nine, just because um, it, it's a budget phone at the same time a gaming phone. So sobrang sulit niya and um, hindi hindi kayo magsisisi na binili niyo sa. Hindi ko lang alam after a while na no, kung babagal siya or what. Pero as per this review and unboxing. Um, siguro masasabi ko na it's a good deal for you for 7,350. No? So that's it. Para sa mga hindi pa subscribe, make sure to click that subscribe button. Click nyo na din yung notification bell 
kung sakaling hindi pa naka-click yan. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below kung ano yung gusto nyo suggestion for the giveaway for the next vlog. Okay? Peace out!